All right, guys, how you doing? I wanted to do a quick update on our generator here. Uh, the other morning, it was about 4 a.m. on Thursday morning, I believe, and uh, we lost power. So I called the power company, and uh, they were like, oh, yeah, at 8 a.m., the power will be back on. And, uh, of course, it's the first cold snap that we've had down here in Florida. And, uh, you know, 32 degrees at nighttime with no heat for a couple hours is going to suck. <laughs> so I went out here to fire the generator up. And uh, it wasn't plugged in. We don't uh, really keep it plugged in for the block heater or the battery charger because we fire it up on a normal basis. And you never really have too many cold snaps here. So, uh came out here to fire it up at about four in the morning 30 something degrees outside and believe it or not fired up on the first start uh, it ran for about 10 or 15 seconds and stalled out so I went to the panel opened it back up and uh, tried to restart the generator and when I did that the unit wouldn't recrank so I got a couple tools real quick and started trying to diagnose it trying to get it fired up and no matter what I did the battery was charged um, checked all the wires connections and tried to crank it again tried to crank a couple times and uh, this unit has the decision maker 550 the digital control panel and after two or three times of it trying to crank itself uh, it displayed the error code on the unit saying rotor locked. So needless to say, uh, we were without power from 4 a.m. Thursday morning till 1 p.m. Thursday afternoon, <laughs> which really sucked. So um, I tried to call up TAW in Tampa to get someone out here to come and look at the generator. Um... Still hadn't heard back from them. I called them Thursday morning. Today's Saturday. Still never heard back from them. So I was looking around and I decided to call ACF Power Systems. And they're based out of Orlando and Tampa as well. But they are a Generac dealer, not a Kohler. They do service Kohler units and all makes and models, but their primary deal is a Generac, whereas TAW is a Kohler dealer. No problem. Uh, Friday morning, before lunchtime, uh, ACF came out here with their tech. And within about an hour, hour and a half, figured out what the problem was and got it to fire back up. So apparently the reason for the locked rotor code is in the decision maker control box there. There are three 15 amp fuses. And apparently, when our high coolant temperature sensor decided to fail on us, which was the diagnosis from the tech, that sensor actually grounds out the positive lead to ground and blows that fuse, which therefore kills the complete electrical system and shuts down the generator. So all in all... It just decided to be a bad sensor, no bad starter, no bad battery, no bad, you know, starter solenoid, nothing fancy, just a high coolant temperature sensor. So if you guys got a problem like this, uh, maybe this will help you out and uh, you can order the part or keep a spare one and be good to go. Thanks guys for keeping up with me. We'll see you next time.